Good morning, everybody. Um, this is a kind of a special week for me at school as a uh, as an instructor. We have, we have what we call Spiritual Emphasis Week, and it's a time where we, as a faculty, staff, student body, and, and high school and middle school, uh, just take a close look at our relationship with God and where we are individually, where we are as a school, and we're going to focus on uh, a lot of things that are personal, but yet a lot of things also that are corporate. And I want to share uh, one of the first topics that we're going to have today with you guys. It comes from King Solomon, uh, the wisest man in the world. Uh, he had asked, uh, God asked him for one thing, and he said, uh, give me wisdom. And he, God granted him wisdom along with a lot of other things, but mainly wisdom. And he was able to uh, discern a lot of things in life. And uh, in his writings in the Bible, we can look at them uh, for wisdom. So we want to look at the book of Ecclesiastes today. Uh, chapter 12 and towards the end, verse uh, 13 and 14, the, uh, the preacher, as he's known, says, Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is man's all. For God will bring every work into judgment, including every secret thing, whether good or evil. So what we're hearing here is that um, all the things we can do in life, all the things we can accomplish, all the degrees we can we can uh, you know attain, uh, all the success we can have in sports or business or whatever it might be, the bottom line says, fear God and keep His commandments. So no wonder so many people are lost today. So uh, no wonder so many people are chasing after that that pot of gold, if you would, at the bottom of the rainbow. You'll never find it. Uh, I heard it was said at one point, the richest man in the world said, what would make you happy tomorrow? And he just said, one more dollar, one dollar more than I had yesterday. And that's that's something that will never, you know, one dollar more, you're always going to be chasing that. And uh, to be chasing things like that in this world is, is, is futile. Um, we'll never get everything that we want in life. Um, you know, even the greatest athletes always say, I want one more championship, one more title, uh, one more, you know, one more, one more, one more, and we're never satisfied. Well, the wisest man in the world says, fear God and keep his commandments. What that tells me is that without a relationship with God, nothing is worth it in this life. Um, I'll be 65 in the coming spring, and um, I've seen a lot in my lifetime. Um, I lived for sports when I was growing up, up to the time in my mid-30s, uh, to, to win that one more championship, to make that next team, um, you know, to get that next win. And while all the trophies and certificates and championships and all meant a lot then, the things that I keep now, the things that I have on display, um, are the memories of relationships, uh, the pictures of the teams that I've coached and the uh, and the, uh, the things I've collected along the way, not the trophies, not the awards, not the, you know, not all that accomplishment things, but the relationships that I have been able to attain. And uh, that's what I cherish most about social media. Um, and then becoming a Christian in, uh, at 33 years old, I began to realize uh, how important it was to know God first, uh, to please Him first. Uh, people will lie on you, people will cheat on you, people will say things about you that aren't true behind your back, even your best friends. Uh, one day may be your worst enemy, you never know. But when you have that relationship with God, that solid rock foundation, um, you can stand on that. You can go to bed at night, you can get a good night's sleep. Um, because the world's going to change, things are going to be up and down. We may wake up one day and see a completely different world, who knows? But uh, what we do know is that we have a solid relationship with Christ that will last forever into eternity. And that's what we want to focus on. Am I, am I honoring God today? Am I pleasing God today? Um, I can't please everybody. I just can't. It's just not possible in this world. But we can please God. We can seek his word each day. We can seek to please him each day. We can seek to, to do his will each day. Uh, that should be our goal. Seek after God, honor God, keep his commandments, and the rest will, you know, will, will, will fall into place. Uh, but we need to be able to wake up in the morning and honor God. We need to be able to go to bed at night knowing we've pleased God. That will give us a peace, the Bible says, that goes beyond all understanding. Despite how people may treat us, despite the stock market, despite the, the winds or the losses, despite uh, the weather, knowing we have a solid rock foundation with Christ will be able to keep us 
going into the night, into the next day, into eternity. So um, seek him today. Please him today above all things. God bless you as always. Uh, let me know if you have any prayer requests, and I'll be happy and privileged to pray for you. Have a great day.